还没有正式打场，已经那么多人了啊<笑> ！OK， everybody good。不好，看人呢、啊，不要讲话。一看有有驾驶力就出去了，啊，浪费。<笑>看着最好，别讲话，讲话就就跑出去了，那驾驶力跑掉了。<笑>一说会溜走一些了，啊，嗯 ，I say if you talk, your marriage is running out. <笑> A little, some, some part, so better keep it. A monkey, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. The three monkey, don't talk. <laughs> Don't look at the bad things. And 讲话越小越好。师傅为了讲话做消耗元气。嗯，不该讲不要讲啊。<笑> I love you guys. <笑>欢迎欢迎来，<笑>欢迎我们前路的地方。没有比你们寺庙这么好看好看漂亮。<笑> How are you? <笑> How are you? You guys doing good? Good. Yes. 我、哦、还是一样，很多女孩子啊、哦，哎，我妈妈生三个女孩子，嗯，我大概传统要保存了，嗯、<笑>都是女孩子，<笑>啊，我女孩子比较细心呐，啊，不是选你们 ，OK， 我本来要选你们当护法了啊，女孩子了，结果你们太忙嘛，家人什么先生小孩的啊，女孩子责任最多了，第第二。没有像他们那么壮啊！男孩子无论如何，他们有没有水过功夫，我是不水过，没关系。呃，他们本来就当兵嘛，有没有？哎呀，这知道怎么当兵，所以在吃方便方便就像兵一样，比较严肃。我是不嫌男不嫌女了，对我无所谓啊。男跟女不一样啊，互相培养啊，才能够一起。一起住很久，不然的话，一一结婚马上就离了。我告诉你，<笑>有一些了，有一些在那个蜜蜜月哈，蜜月是吗？啊，我们越南就说蜜礼拜而已了啊。<笑>蜜月的那个哪几天呢？第一天、第二天就离婚了，跑掉了，受不了啊！因为他们解释，他们说。平常啊，就就一个礼拜约两三次嘛，啊，懂不懂？然后就打扮很漂亮，在家里礼貌貌的啊，就不知道自己那个影响那个个性呐、啊，还是有习惯呐、啊，还有那种我知道，结婚了以后，每天那个蜜月，特别蜜月的时候，没事干了，三进就来了，懂不懂？这两个家一起在一个小房子里面，洗澡啊，上厕所，什么都这个太太密集了，懂不懂？就开始那个不同的瓶子就会跑出来<笑>，然后就离婚了啊，就比较困难了啊。男跟女一起住在一起一个房子真的很困难啊。所以如果有问题的话，要住一个小房子就好了啊。小房子 OK， 不过厕所有两个比较好。OK， 浴室、厕所最少两个，一个睡房，两个浴室啊。他们建浴室这样的。也许就不会那么多问题 ，OK 哈，嗯，而且小一个房子不用打扫那么多，就不用说你去打扫，然后你反正你去，我不去，你去，你去，你你昨天我有去，你今天去<笑> ，OK 哈，呀，很困难了，我也不知道你们怎么能够，那我的婚姻是很好了，我不能说哪一个婚姻都不好，不是这样的，非常好，非常好啊。很小什么问题？除了我们讲那个宗教的时候，不是谈政治的，嗯，宗教的。比方说，我说有那个天堂啊，有释迦牟尼佛，有佛啊，佛有一些人就可以飞一下，上去这样。那个时候我我念经是这样吗？他说哪有这样啊？啊，证明不到的。他是科学家的那种脑袋嘛，啊，所以我们在那个时候就是吵了，吵了一点了。不过没有很多了，我我就想啊，他当然这个人不懂，就不要跟他谈那些事情，就没事了，就是这样而已
，因为我我真的是也证明不出来啊，<笑>我念经看到而已。那个时候嘛 ，OK， 嗯，不过他那个人呢，心里面也蛮信佛的，嗯，所以我放佛像啊什么的，然后我念经啊，他不会反对的啊。和尚都我请到我家来供养啊、休息啊、住那边啊，他们也不会反对。啊，我去做佛的寺庙事情，那个时候哈，他不会反对啊。他也有时候人带话回来给我，呃，放在佛上面，也是蛮善善良的啊。OK， 就是他不相信他看不到的东西，我们也不能怪他。嗯，那<笑>也很很可爱。那个时候他在家里是跟着叔叔，没错了。我就去这个医院的时候没舒适，他就。吃肉了，我就说，嗯，你今天是不是吃肉太多，味道不好？他说我没有，他说他吃素啊。我说哪里吃素？你吃什么东西？你讲出来。他说牛排啊。那<笑>我说牛排怎么是素食呢？他说牛他吃素，我吃牛就<笑>第二手的书。<笑>好，没关系，也不讲别人事情，讲我们了。你们现在知道我为什么不能带小孩来了啊？哦不常情，这这我们地方很小嘛，嗯，现在还好一点了。以前，哎呀，没有地方哎，了解吗？嗯、呃，浴室、厕所什么都不方便。刚才有修改了一些了，<笑>有一次嘛，呃，嗯，我跟那个什么工作人员讲了啊，我们堂不会碰面了，我不会碰面了，很小很小。很小，除了像昨天我上去那个跟蒙古跟台北那个开会的哈，艺术家姐，哎，在上去，然后顺便经过他们，敲一个这个门，说：“哦，你还门还活着吗 ？”OK 哈，<笑>就这样子，平常不会碰面，因为我们这个时代很方便嘛。我跟工作人员讲话嘛，啊，呃，他就说师傅，我我忘记是。怎么样开始了？就是，他说：“师傅，你你，我们觉得很很很对不起呢。你住山洞，然后里面要有帐篷而已，这样子好吗？”我说：“我很好啊，我很好，没有看到人就好。<笑>”然后他说：“这样不过 OK 吗？”我说：“哇，你不知道，很快乐，能够有一点时间了、啊，爬到帐篷里面拉下来，拉那个小拉链下来，拉起来，然后。”躺一下，哇，非常舒服，快乐，也不知道，因为珍惜嘛，懂不懂？珍惜啊，所以不是说我们有很大的房子啊，华豪华奢侈的地方，我们才觉得快乐。我是可以保证这样，我净身保证这样子。东西越多越烦恼啊，要擦要洗，了解吗？怕人拿走，呵呵等等，怕小偷，嗯，没有东西就不怕，嗯。我们如果东西小，不过我们啊、呃、珍惜的话，又一模一样，哎，比那个多东西还要快乐舒服的啊！当然要照顾身体的，不要虐待的，不要给他太生病也不好啊。不过不是要那么多，让让自己啊、呃、健康快乐的，了解吗 ？OK， 呀、yeah. ，反而东西小，就就单独的，就比较不会很多烦恼了。懂不懂？不争吵，不分散注意力，啊，可以很专心。要打坐修行，我是想那个，怎么能够帮助世界的事情？如果太多人这方面，我会吵死了。了了解吗？他如果不讲话的话，他气氛里面也会会吵。嗯，好几个这样啦、啊。以前我可以很多人帮忙，奇怪，以前公主很小，很多人帮忙没关系。现在公主越多，又不能有人帮忙。我一个人什么都要做，你自己山洞很很小，让人进来，除了很真正的需要的，因为我不想让何让让任何人进来啊，懂不懂？那个干扰那个气氛、啊，要洗好几天才好的。嗯，不是说有很多人帮你忙，你高兴快乐不一定不一定。OK 哈，你越修你越呵呵你越想自己独立嗯、啊，所以很多修行者他们都在山上一个人啊，一个小小小。小巢物，木物巢物啦，啊，而是土物啦，啊，那他们也高兴快乐，啊
。不过不是说丢开世界，不是这样意思。那、啊、意思我们要独立一个人，能够专心、快乐啊，可以呃专心啊，可以自在，就比较可以想多事情，是吗？有时候你们一个人想比较痛，是吗？打所以打坐的时候，我才教你们放一一个什么。起步或是什么一个比较方便的啊,啊，意见会冒出来，答案就会冒出来。答案是有了，平常你们要问师傅什么东西，在那边没那边问，马上有答案了。我太忙了，忘记了，我是听不到，没有收到，收到不过没有，没有注意到啊，就跟我们看电视一样，有时候节目很好啊，不过我们心事不好。在那边忙想什么的，那所以所以那个荧幕那个电视啊叫什么我们也根本嗯没有没有听到没看到是吗？啊，也不是说以前有很多人帮助了，以前也有没事干嘛啊，然后他们很多人就进来啊跟师傅住家嘛，所以住家，然后大家一起啦 ，OK 一个人煮饭，一个人擦房子，一个人帮师傅写下来回信。回答新的东西，那等等就是这样，就所谓的帮忙。<笑>因为那个时候我们没有电话呢，没电视呢，啊，我们都没有任何东西。现在反而才要有电视，因为我要看，看他们做一些什么，对不对？常常要修改，嗯，就是会叫他们怎么改怎么改，就减少一点那个错误啊，也还不错。我看各位修行蛮好的，红润的，<笑>大概有修行的很好。考虑啊，考虑啊，<笑>台湾的，大陆 OK， <笑>你看<笑> ，international 国际，嗯，这次只有你一个人啊，他们呢？啊，别的是别的，啊，不知道我生日还在不在呢？嗯、啊，哎 ，OK， 有时候来不及了。呃，见证的关系，我知道是很困难，这个世界是这样了。同样啊，我也很很喜欢大家多来，大家多来。不过我们啊，地方有限，嗯、啊，小孩只有今天小孩日，我就叫他们能够来。不过这个。今天才能来啊，以前都不能啊，懂不懂？啊，厕所一时不方便，嗯、啊，啊，然后像像这样子也要也要政府 OK 才能做开的，了解吗？不是政府严格，不是不是不是，啊，每个国家都有自己的法律啊。呃、啊，如果什么都随便的话，大家都在高速公路开怎么办呢？<笑>听懂吗？然后政府的那个地方随便乱进来大帐篷，政府的那个总统府啊，我们说啊随便啊，这有国家，我没地方住，跑到总统府前面或是后面也好，不要进去。不过、啊、前远后也很大，我去搭一个帐篷有什么关系？这有国家，不行啊，懂不懂？嗯，自由的国家也是有啊那个呃规矩的啊，要负责任的。我们越自由，我们越要负责任感，嗯，不然就变成不自由了。年轻的人多数都很高的理想，他们想帮助世界，想改变社会更好的。不过社会没那么好改，嗯，世界没那么好帮助。你看，佛来佛去。嗯，多少人修佛呢？连是书也不行了，不要说五戒、六戒、十戒、八戒，什么戒都没有了。为了保保护这个身体，什么都做了。为了环环境利，什么都做了。为了社会压力，什么都做了。大家都没有互相帮忙，都是互相妨害而已。就可惜这样，社会的关系啊，很小，很小有、啊、人自己反省的，很小，要有人领导，要有人啊提醒他们，也是很可怜。我讲过了，我什么人都可怜，最大的那个犯人我也很可怜他们，情况弊的，嗯，不是吃东西不好就变这样子也会
吃肉、吃喝酒那些，人家神经就坏掉了，然后乱乱做啊，然后还毒品啊。我们本来好好的人呢，啊，连吃的吃素也被伤害了，不要说没别的，那什么东西要放什么？<笑>那种四四斤的东西里面呢、啊，洋葱啊、大蒜那些，比如说让我们就生气出来了，不是色情那个气动出来，这什么都伤害了呢。这个这个世界真的是，如果你们不小心的话，碰到什么都不行啊，好可怜啊，没有什么人的罪恶的了。除了他神经被弄坏，不过神经弄坏也是因为不晓得色情暴力的那个那个榜样啊，还有不好的东西啦，啊，酒、烟、毒品等等，就给他不好了。然后也许父母这样子转下去不好的那个种子 ，OK， 不是为情关闭的，是为好朋啊坏朋友拉拢，真可怜啊，师傅哭不完。眼泪掉不够，为了那些人，我在一个人的时候，就替那些人很心疼。不过师傅一个人也不能做那么多，主主主要那个 S M T V 可以多广播一点，多广，多播播放广一点，给大家能学醒过来就醒过来，也不一定要跟师傅学习的，就是最少他醒过来，呃，不杀不偷。嗯，不做坏事，那社会已经会越来越好，然后安静的、平安的，才能够想啊，也许还有更好的东西，也许可以啊，到佛土，也许是有佛土，也许有天堂，那我是看看啊，他平安的时候，世界和平的时候，他才多有时间思思想啊，考考虑。因为他每天忙，要赚钱哦，是要争夺、啊，不然的话，他自己也不能保存自己的生命啊，他自己也不能照顾自己家人，他怎么能想到什么佛土天堂，连听也听不到，听也听不进去、啊，听懂吗？哎，所以真的可怜呐、啊，众生真的可怜。自己有佛性，没办法认得出来；自己有内在的天堂，没办法想到。一天到晚滚在那个风尘里面，然后到自己都很肮脏、很很迷魂掉了，没办法再想什么。所以我们呢、啊？师傅才说是每每天最少神下来几个小时打坐 ，OK， 有静静安静下来的时候，才能够回想到故乡，能够记得佛的教理、耶稣的道理，听懂哈？不然我们太忙，怎么能够记得那些嘛？不过我也是很佩服你们呐、啊，生活那么忙碌当中，还能够破空来打坐，还近几天还可以来，哎呀。还要打禅都来，我也是很佩服你们，真的。因为我自己也忙，我也知道忙是什么，没那么容易。因为师傅忙的时候，真的是了解你们啊。比方说，有时候我要做这个做那个，不是有时候要打电话给医生，不是打电话给什么？你们其中一个要修理什么地方？要做什么路？要修理哪一边？这里的，比方说讲，没有空嘞。因为要打电话的话，要对答，要解释，要详细，就没有时间了。要有时候，他问那个，比方说要盖这边高，那边做什么做什么，我好几天我才能回答他，因为别的事情要紧啊。S M T V deadline 怎么啊？时间性了要紧啊！比方说这样，啊，狗生病了要紧啊，等等等等，或是我身体也要紧，<笑>我身体是最后的，除了不能去看同修以外，我身体是没什么要要紧那么多了。OK， 嗯。
，这个时代呀、啊，都有药了。嗯，不过药吃太多，对身体更不好。有时候呵呵吃药没用嘛，啊，他自己会好或是不好的。嗯，我们修行人本来不能讲话多了，啊，小好元气。所以有一位师傅他说，啊，如果早知道的话，盲目啊，鹅龙啊。哑巴是最好，因为我们不需要这些才能修行的，是吗？我们不用啊，而且讲话多的话，啊，对自己也不怎么好，嗯，对别人也不一定好，他听这边跑那边去，有时候乱批评又造业障，而且不讲也不好。<笑>如果释迦牟尼佛没有讲话。耶稣没讲话，我、哦、我们怎么能够记得呢？啊，原来有佛心，原来有佛土，原来有天堂在内。不过因为他们讲话，所以他们才自己才受伤害。不是说身体的那个还不不讲啊，讲话教人道理嘛。然后、哦、那一天那些政府啊，或是敌人啊，不高兴啊，讲话谁都喜欢啊，都听啊，赞赞他啊，嫉妒心冒出来了，就觉得那个怎么表哥或是表弟那个，提婆达多，他生生世世害佛了啊。当他徒弟的时候，也反过来害他，因为名利心啊。当然就说 OK， 天堂考验佛，考什么验？他已经是佛了，又考什么验？还是伤害人呢，因为佛讲话，很多人听啊，啊，很多人听他，跟着他，崇拜他了，不是听而已，崇拜他，常常来看，一直看，眼睛看，哦，看很爱护的看，很爱的看，崇拜的看，啊，拿香来花，那个什么灯来供养，拿东西来供养，他哪里需要供养？他如果需要好东西吃，他就留在宫内了；他如果需要好地方住，他就留在王位了，是吗？连这样子也会有人怀疑他，认为他要什么，他还要什么？啊，总一位王子降下来当那个突破的一个和尚，他他还要什么嘛？哎。就是这样啊，人都是这样被洗脑了，被毒啊，毒到这样子，叫眼睛盲目啊，耳聋啊，听不到，看不见，然后口乱讲话，哎，太毒了，社会污染，嗯，一个眼睛不见，又带另外一个眼睛不见，两两个当然，哎，有一天会丢在什么桶，那个什么孔里面，或是丢在。上下了啊、哦，嗯，很可怜，不是人不好，被带坏，所以你们看谁坏，不要怪他一个人 ，OK？ 怪那个带坏的人，带好的人很小，可惜可惜，都是名利啊，抓着自己的那个地位啊，抓着。固执抓着自己那个那个权利啊，然后就不管好坏了，随便带坏人，也不忏悔，不回头，也不退休算了。如果不懂，就不要上去嘛。退休了，懂不懂？怕带坏人的话，就退休了，退掉了，回去，回自己的地方，做工作赚自己的饭，还比较小业障，还比较小伤害。地位越高，越盲目的话，越伤害很多人。对那些人，啊，不知道怎么说了。不是可怜而已，我也很气，很气，因为利用地位带坏很多啊，百千万亿人不是一两个，不知道他们什么时候才能上去的。然后社会是这样子，啊，有时候我们本来是全数而已，那不小心呢，里面有放东西也没有列出来，然后吃越多越身体越不好，这
精神也比较激动啊，然后生气，然后都大家都吵起来。你看啊，这样子呢，不是说事出就哦，也安静快乐，哎，被骗了，被骗了。有时候那个放动物成分在里面，嗯，认为这样才好吃，也多卖起来，又骗人家了。有时候我放毒品在里面，他放毒品在什么那个？肉里面给人家上瘾了，为了多生意，好恐怖啊！所以，所以我们这个时代真的要真正保护自己很困难，大家要多谨慎、多小心。OK 哈，嗯，还好政府台湾政府现在有什么法律了，是蔬菜的那个产品的要列出来清楚。不过我也不晓得他们清楚多少啊。最好自己煮给自己吃就好了，根本也不需要什么那个素肉啊，素肉我们自己自己同性弄是 OK 啊，我就问问看是 OK 有没有什么那些啊什么洋葱什么那些成分了啊,啊，那别别的外面我不知道，我不能保证了啊 OK， 嗯，因为要自己静静的。懂不懂？比方说偶尔吃一样没关系，不是煮那个给别人吃，偶尔一次啦，无所谓。而且不是打残的时候，是比较好。因为打残的时候就不能吃那些，吃那些就静不下来，了解吗？啊，念头会很乱。我告诉你啊，不是恐吓你啊，不是释迦牟尼佛讲，然后我直接金主，不是借力的关系，是自己的。OK。保护自己的关系，真正的师傅亲身体验了、啊。OK， 不是说是佛为什么讲那样子这样子，你不相信是看看，呃，自己关门起来打坐三四天，吃呢每天吃洋葱，我是吃一天呢、啊、也可以了、啊，吃很多那洋有那些洋葱的那，呃，大蒜在里面的。OK， 我是自己煮放一些。刚好好吃的也不一定很多，然后打坐看看三天，然后来报告，师傅这样对不对？嗯，不是说我我吓坏你们干什么？我哪里叫你们就是像吓坏干什么呢？吃洋葱大蒜不是杀生啊！我哪里这样严格？我是劝你们而已 ，OK？ 嗯，还好，你看，所以释迦牟尼佛不讲又不行。如果他没有讲那些，我们怎么知道？奇怪，我是说呢，是全书的，一点点动物也没有呢，怎么这心情也吃不好，那情绪也放不下，不晓得是吗？哎，所以我们还是感谢他了，感谢佛，谢谢。然后，因为他讲话，所以有人嫉妒嘛。啊，讲道理太好了，谁都来听了。耶稣，谁都崇拜他，懂不懂 ？If you have boyfriend, girlfriend, or husband and wife, then of course at least you try to make it smooth. If you have family or relationship, of course I wish you well. Hmm, and you make it smooth, and I wish you happiness, so that you can have peace of mind. To meditate, I don't blame you. I don't say you are a sinner or anything. It's your karma, huh? It's your uh, maybe fixed karma, maybe a former life karma that you have to go through and try to be good to each other and make happiness. Okay, so that you can meditate well. Because if your relationship is turbulent, it's very difficult, difficult to peace peacefully meditate or do your job. Just uh, look upon each other like a friend, best friend. Treat each other respectfully, peacefully, uh, affectionately, so that life go well for you. All right? Yes. It's your karma. You have to go through. I have no condemnation or anything. Okay? <laughs> Just that you don't know. Being single is the best solution. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> My own experience, I'm sharing with you, but it's not an obligation or it's not like a, 
accusation, nothing like that. I do understand everything, okay? I have been there too, hmm? so that I understand you. Hmm. The reason Sekamuni had family before, so that he can understand the situation of the war more than if he did not have. After he became enlightened, he understand a different level, you see? But he still understand the world level, so that he can teach the lay people, not just the monks, but the lay people who struggle with their family life, so that he can advise them, that he can understand first and sympathize with them, then he can teach them, all right? Maybe for that reason, I had to be married before. Hmm? Yes. Uh, there's no excuse for me, nothing. I, I was just a girl, you know, <laughs> like everybody else, and I'm chased around, and finally I say, okay. <laughs> everybody else tell me, okay, okay, what else you want? You already uh, 28, you already very old. If you don't marry now, when? And he will not stay there forever waiting for you, and he handsome, doctor, so lovely and spoiling you. What do you want, man? Peer pressure, everything. <laughs> okay, well, I never regret to have married my ex-husband. He's a wonderful man. Yeah. He's the best man you can have, in my opinion. That's all, okay? So I understand you, okay? It's not easy to refuse love and affection from someone else who loves you so much and, and devoted his heart or her heart to you. I understand that. Treasure that. Okay, and make it into a tool, good tool for happiness, joy, so that you can uh, go on with your life, which is lonely, difficult, and a lot of challenges. Yeah, you might need a partner always with you, encourage you, and run into the arm sometime when you need comfort. Yes, yes, when you're not strong enough to be alone, that is okay. Yeah. Just be very careful not to to break it or to make more trouble, hmm? and not to chase someone else or to make heartbreaking for the one who loves you. That's all, okay? That is the, the meaning of the, one of the precepts, okay? Yes. Not that you cannot have a partner. Hmm. It just pairs some with the physical desire, okay? Try not to indulge too much, okay? It will wear you out. Hmm? You need fuel to go home. All right? If you wear out too much, it tired you out. And when you sit, you cannot uh, concentrate well. You will be sleepy. We have to try to make the best of our life hmm? in this world. As short as your life can be. Yeah, very short. I just came out uh, like an innocent <laughs> girl. <laughs> And now I'm already past 30 years since then. So quick. So quick, so quick. There was one, uh, one of your Dharma God here, body, body God uh, here. I know him when he was two years old. Hmm? When, not even when I first came out, already have many disciples in Taiwan. And he is one of, of uh, the kid that uh, is still in uh, Baba's arms, you know? And always crying, you see, I want to see Master, two years old, at home, every time see Master photo, I want to go see Master, I want to see Master, and go and cry, cry, cry. And now he's a body god, my, my, one of my gods, you know? I remember him because we call him at that time, I don't know how the, the name come about, but flat nose, you know? Flat nose, because his nose at that time kind of flat. I don't know why somebody called that and we, his name stick with it. So I still call him flat nose. Mm. I told him not because you, your nose is still flat, but you, you look very handsome now. It's just I like that name because you were a very good kid and it brings good memory to me. So I said, I also like that name, Master. I said, okay, then we both have that name. <laughs> yeah. And now he's already big, strong, oh, he's much taller than me, huh? Very strong and big. I don't know, he's not here today, maybe he is somewhere, yeah. Uh, yesterday he was still, <laughs> you know, like protecting me when I was going up there and go here. Yeah, one of the gods. It's funny, 
he's so big and tall now and you know strong good looking <laughs> so I said to him not because you're not good looking just because I like the name and a good memory he said okay I like it master I still like it. my god I look at him and every time I look at the kids like him you know grown up now I feel oh my god I belong to the museum already <laughs> antique you know <laughs> I make one joke about the photo. I don't know if it's on TV or not yet. Sometimes they put my joke on TV, original <laughs> joke. That's it for me. I say, uh, the joke like, uh, one of the photographers take my photo sometimes, and I say, what, they don't look like me. You used to make beautiful photo of me. How come it look so old now? <laughs> and then I say, yeah, yeah, uh, you know. The camera is old. <laughs> Outdated. The camera is, must be about 30 years old already. <laughs> when, when he took my first photo, I was already 30 or something, you know? So it's 30 years here, you know? I try to forget, you know? I blame the camera. <laughs> but the camera nowadays is even better than that time, yeah? So when you see some old, old video before, when your master just came out into the public, someone so blurry, so they just put only audio. Yeah, because the video quality is really, really below lousy. It's okay, you still can hear my voice. And sooner, maybe if, if uh, this uh, <laughs> object of photography is too old, you will both probably just hear the voice also. <laughs> And that photo is my own joke. It's joking about myself, okay? <laughs> but I just exaggerate a little bit. It's a joke. You have, must make it more dramatic and punchline must be more exaggerated, more shocking, yeah? For people laugh. Yeah. You will see that joke. They probably will air it soon. So our life is shorter than we even think. When I was uh, younger, no, a child, uh, my mother told me she was 40 already, and I thought, wow, that's very old, very, very old, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and when I was 40, I think, oh, it's still okay, you know? And it's quickly you become 60, and quickly you pass the 60 even. And then you don't know how long I will stay here <laughs> next time you come. Really treasure your time and your opportunity your wealth, your house, your happiness. Not because you need, not because we greedy for these things, but your house, your wealth, afford you to see, to have a good, safe place to meditate. Mm -hmm. Afford you to come here, to see me sometimes, you know, to ease your longing, and maybe to take home something that you need. Maybe my words, maybe my love, Maybe something that we cannot prove. I take home something. So if you don't have wealth, then it's not good, is it? Right? Yeah. So it's not to look down upon money or wealth, or position, or your comfort in life. Treasure it. Appreciate it. Without them, we won't die, of course. It's just less convenient, less comfortable. That's all, okay? So if you can afford it, you have wealth, you have health, you have good home, happiness at home, then you are very lucky people. But just use it. Use it for your own advantage. Not cling to it, because it will be your master. Then you will be in trouble. You will not be free. Yeah, to, to free yourself. Mm -hmm. Only that. But everything is good for you. Everything in this world is good. If we know how to use it, like a car, eh? you must know how to control it, otherwise it will be harmful to you and other people. And like electricity, you must know how to channel it, to install it, otherwise it will shock you and might kill you or others. Everything in life is good for you. Not saying, okay, we practitioner, we don't need anything. It's for sure. But don't need anything inside. Inside you put out, okay? You don't care. 
inside only, but outside you still need, okay? Uh, don't think master live in a cave, I also go live in a cave. That don't make you become Buddha, okay? It just makes trouble for you, you're not used to it. The cave leaking, you don't know how to do it, and you, you might not be healthy. I live there because, of, I don't know, I just like it there, okay? Not because I copy you or because that makes me become a Buddha. Not like that, okay? Huh? Just a situation here, a situation there. Like before in Sihu, we cannot build anything. So we just uh, make cave, okay? Because cave is legal, it's okay. The cave only two meter by two meter, and there's a little porch outside, another meter. A half a meter, it depends on the landscape. Because the situation like that, not because I make a cave so that I become a Buddha, or I become like, oh, ascetic practitioner. It's not. You just live according to your means, according to your situation. Then you have peace, okay? Don't try to force things. Don't try to be too much extraordinary, and then you have no willpower anymore to deal with so many challenges in life. Just let it all be. I live in a cave here because it's more far away, more isolated for me. And so I don't need to ask the disciple to build a house for me. They have already selected a good place, a good feng shui. I don't care about that. A building has to need permission many months until they approve. And build it and then and uh, then have, have to have inspection and maybe come again and again, <laughs> check it. <laughs> yeah? Cost time, precious time for you. Your time is also precious as much as mine. If you don't think so, but I do think so. So I bother you as little as possible. So that you have more time to meditate. You already have family, have work, and have other, you know, helping with the center and SMTV. If you spend all your time building home for me, and my dog as well, <laughs> it still wastes too much time. So it already exists, I use it. It's such a natural thing, and it's far away from, from the assembly, so I can have a little bit of privacy and quietude to do my stuff. I'm very happy to have it. Truly, I'm not like punishing myself or or doing it for ascetic reason. Even if I do it to save merit, even then I'm very happy in it. When I go in there and I work a lot already and come back and leave, I can have time to crawl into my tent and be alone, zip it down, and oh, I feel, wow, such a blessing. <laughs> such a blessing. I really appreciate it very much. So do not do what I do if you cannot. Don't do that, okay? Uh, don't abandon your family or girlfriend, boyfriend or husband, wife for me because I did that. Not necessary, okay? You put down inside your heart. Not everybody has affinity to be monk and nun, okay? And not everybody can be a monk as a monk. Look at me, look at me, do I look like a monk? Huh? <laughs> Even I became a monk. Look at me, huh? Huh? Look at this, huh? I don't look like a monk at all. But who cares? <laughs> you care? No. You care how I wear? No. no. Okay. It's your karma. Okay, look at your karma. You understand this? Don't look. <laughs> they are not clothes. They are dirt. Green dirt. <laughs> karma. Your karma. Hmm. It's okay. Or maybe my karma. Okay? Maybe I, I have to do it. So I can earn more money to help some people who only need money <laughs> and don't need spiritual help yet. Need money, then I can help them. Okay? Yeah, we have different kind of help. Mm. All right then. I thank you for being enlightened enough to look through the dirt to see my soul and to see my sincerity and my spiritual attainment. I thank you for that. I'm really proud of you. I, I thank you. I'm very touched. I'm really touched. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's very rare. It's rare. Yeah, because I came out as a nun, and then I changed 10,000 times, <laughs> different things, and you still are with me. 
So that's not about me, okay? It's about you, that you have really progressed. You have really improved. Your soul improved. Your spiritual elevation has really <laughs> gone high. And I'm very proud of you, and I'm very glad to have you as my so-called disciples. Thank you so much. Make, you make me proud. Thank you. Especially the, the monks and the nuns who follow me. I mean, the real monks you nuns, long time, you know, long time practicing before they come to me. I really thank them. I really admire them. <laughs> Because monks and nuns, they mostly, normally fix in their own belief. I don't look like anything <laughs> worthy of their belief and their trust. And they still trust and they still believe me and they keep coming for retreat and seeing me. That means they are high. Not just because they are monks or nuns, but because they are high, highly developed. That's why I tell you, leave them alone, protect them, respect them, okay? so that they can be more uh, developed in their own way, yeah? Do not try to be too near, because you don't know what your level, you might contaminate them. <laughs> I'm sorry if I offended you. I tell the truth all the ways, all the time. I don't want to be famous in the world as a sweet talk lady, as a gentle master, as a very polite master, no. I'm here for the truth. I'm here only for you, for your good. And if I have offended you ever in any way, forgive me, but I won't change. Don't look for change. <laughs> I won't change. If I have to kick you out sometimes so that your ego will run away, then I will do that. If I have to yell at you so that you wake up, I'll do that. Don't expect any change from your master. She is like that, she will always be, okay? Right, take care of yourself, look inside, don't look outside. Be humble, always be acceptance, so that you can progress. Don't listen to your mind, your ego. I don't ever want to do anything harm to you, least of all to the good practitioner, least of all wanting to offend you. For what reason? It's only not good for me. But I ask your forgiveness. In case you get angry with me, please don't. Okay? Don't be. To practice our way is very difficult. It looks easy, though. If you listen to my advice, my experience, it's easy. If you listen to your ego, to the world, your habit, then it's difficult. First of all, how many people can eat vegetarian even? So simple. Hmm? Many drop out because cannot be vegetarian, because cannot be strong enough to stand for your belief. Uh, the wife of struck, the children even of struck, the friend even talk you out of vegetarianism, <laughs> and you listen to all of them. I'm a one only. I cannot go against all of them. They're near you every day. So you have to be careful now. Hmm? You have to stand up for yourself. Because after all, you are born alone. You will die alone. If you don't stand up for yourself, nobody else really do. Wife can divorce you anytime. Husband can leave you for another girl anytime. Boyfriend, girlfriend, same stuff. But you have to stay with yourself, with your own conscience, with your heart all the time. It's difficult, I know that. I know it's easy for me to advise you standing here. I know outside is difficult. But you tell your friend or ex-disciple, have to be strong, hmm? because you don't know if you have next life as a human. You don't know if next life you see master again. Any master, not just me, for example. Yeah, you must take it now, this time, this life only. Learn to cook from SNTV, internet, be independent. Cook for your wife instead of let her cook for you. Cook for your husband instead of being spoiled by him or go out eating. Huh? Cook. Show them how beautiful, tasty vegetarian is. 
and how easy it is. Cook simple first, like I teach you on TV. Simple, yes, very simple. And then even invite them out sometime, vegan restaurant, see how many people eat vegan, you see, and they're so healthy, happy. All the photos on the wall of the hero, athlete, vegan, huh? muscle man. Not just a normal like me, small and skinny, huh? but muscle. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, handsome, good looking, strong, 60 something, still champion of the world. For example, yeah? And doctors, tons of them are vegan. Beautiful movie stars, men and women, handsome successful, famous, and compassionate. Go, tell them, take them out to a vegan restaurant. Hmm? Don't say anything, surprise today. Even if they don't, oh, just one time. Please, <laughs> today is my birthday, darling. Yeah, do something. <laughs> it's my birthday, <laughs> just one time, okay? Do something, use your <laughs> Use your wisdom, if you have any. I'm sure you do have, right? If not, you can learn from movies, how? Eh? Use something, use your intelligence. Mm -hmm. To help one person return to original soul, self, is a merit, immeasurable. Okay? Your job is not only to follow me, to come retreat, meditate, but your job is to help your fellow human beings who's erring, they're going to hell. You stand by and look. Huh? All the religions say, if you eat meat, you drink wine, you go to hell. I never said that before. For me, it's too strong a condemnation, but it is the truth. All the religious masters say that. Guru Nanak said that. Buddha said that. Okay, maybe Jesus said that too, they cut it, they edit it out of it, just some little thing left, so that we know Jesus also teach vegetarian. If they're going to hell and you profess that they're your best friend and your wife, your beloved boyfriend, girlfriend, you let them go to hell? No. And you even follow them? No. Is that a way of a gentleman or a good lady? No. No, do something. If I can, you can, okay? Do it gentle way, do it a smart way, not forcing, okay? Do something. If today you fail this way, you try another way. You're a smart boy, intelligent girl, you know how, okay? You cannot just watch your beloved one or your good friend, such a good being, being misled and then go to hell. Not just being a bad boy, bad girl in this lifetime, or harm the planet, harm themselves, their health only, but go to hell. Would you want that? No. And what will you do? Do something, right? Yes. I don't want a lot of disciples. Just make me more trouble, of course, okay? But I want them to be healthy, sane, and at least go back to be human, not go to hell. If they don't go to heaven, at least they don't go to hell. Okay, understand that? You try to save them like that. And that's all I want from you. Nothing. Not your wealth, not your money, not your uh, worship, your reverence, not uh, your praise. No, I love you all day, Master. No. I want you to help your friends, your relatives. Okay? And they all are our friends. They are all are our relatives. Besides helping the animals not to suffer so gruesomely in some dark corner that we have no access, that we don't even see, that we don't even know. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. yes. All the things you learn about compassion, mercy, loving kindness, use it. Anyway, if you know somebody is going to fall or hurt, and you know it in advance, then you would think of the way to help that person or not? Yes. Yeah? Think, you must think. Because situation is different. Your friend, your family, people, personality, it's different. I cannot teach you one by one, <laughs> okay? You have to think. 
you live with them, you see them all the time, you know their personality, you know the way to help. Okay, huh? I count on you. Hmm? Help them, please. Help them and help the animals. If you say you thank you and you don't know how to repay my kindness, do that. Then I will be very happy. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay? Tomorrow we talk again, huh? Uh, tomorrow is the official, right? Yeah. I will try to read the Surangama Sutra. Lang Yen Ching. Thank you. Thank you, all of you. Good appetit. <laughs> Openly I say normally I would invite the monks to eat with me. Yeah. Uh, not normally, but if I see them, if I have a chance, but I cannot now. I have to eat and look at the paperwork at the same time, okay? That's how I have to manage, okay? I have dogs even, <laughs> and they also love me, just like you do, maybe more, and they also need affection. But when you are here or Sunday or retreat, I cannot even take care of them. No, I just have to tell them, sacrifice, okay? <laughs> All right then, I wish you good appetite. Huh? Yeah. See you later, maybe, okay? If I finish my work, I may come back, okay? Yes. Maybe. I say maybe. <laughs> I love you all. I wish I could hug each of you and tell you I love you, but we just take love from the heart, okay, huh? I really do appreciate you and your presence. Ciao. Love you. God bless.